Perhaps there is nothing more pathetic, sudden, than a Catholic. I don't mean a baptized pagan, a Catholic with no faith. Because we say we have faith, but in the moment of the truth, when the problems come, when all those situations that we do not understand come, when our prayer seems to not be heard, then we feel lost, abandoned, alone. We turn to a heaven that seems to be deserved, to a God who does not seem to hear us, and we ask Him why. Then some turn away, or many turn away. Maybe, lately, they will come back. But for the moment, they enter into crisis and turn away. When you see a gospel like this, full of details, they may go unnoticed. You realize that the problem of lack of faith in us, practicing Catholics, is enormous. And those apostles already had the problem, even though, it must be said to their credit, Christ had not risen, had not yet performed their great miracle. There is a storm, but the Lord is in the boat. The Lord is with us. Moreover, a detail that goes to notice is that stern in the back of the boat. It is a part of the suffers the most. The boat is away a little raised. The stern is the worst part. If the boat sinks, so he does. He is withstanding the worst of the torment. He is not someone who looks down on you from his Olympus celestial distance with indifference that he doesn't care as if you are a tiny little pimple with no importance. It is someone who is with you by your side suffering with you, craving with you. When the Lord managed to calm the waters at a word from him, they obeyed him. When the wind subsides, after having reproached them for a no lack of faith, they, and this is also an important detail, says, Who is this? Even the wind and the sea obeyed him. Who is he? The opportunity I have to live now, for the first time in my life, by the sea has allowed me to discover something that I have never experienced the same in my life. I am a city person. In the city, you admire the work of men, wonderful, some of them, the great buildings, the great works of engineering. By the sea, you realize how small all of the works of men are. I often pray a psalm that says, Proclaim, nature proclaim the works of God. Creation proclaims the works of His hands. Day to day passes the message, night to night whisper it, without their speaking, without their uttering, without their voice resounding. The message reaches to the ends of the earth. Heaven proclaims God's word. The sea tells us that greatness of the Lord. This immense heaven, this protecting heaven, this sea, which is something terrible and sometimes a wrath of oil, is a small work of God. And we, do we get nervous? Do we doubt? the power of God? Do we believe that men, with their weakness, with their intelligence, with their submission to devil, are greater than God? Are they powerful than God who made this immense universe? I repeat, when I look at heaven, which proclaims the words of God, 
the heaven, which passes the message to the day and which transmitted to the night, I said, no, God is the creator. God is greater. They are a scheming, a potting, aging. 2030, the great reset. Due to the pandemic, we are going to modify the nature of men so that he is neither man or female. We are going to force everyone to do what we want. We are the masters of the world. Poor naive people, poor naive people. Our boat seems to be filled with water. The enemies are so powerful. They have unlashed against us all kinds of persecutions and evil. But God is God. God alone is God. These little men who play searchers, searchers, apprentice, these little men, allies to the devil, are going to have the same faith that the devil has had. Only God is God. Therefore, the message of heaven, the message of sea, the message of those who have died for Christ, the martyrs, the message of the saints is only one. Trust. Trust. And Jesus' report is one. You still have no faith? Men of little faith, why have you doubt? Trust. God is all the Almighty. And these little men, who play a vain gods, neither, neither the billionaires nor any, no one is God. They have power, but their power is a sliver of divine power. Only God is God. I repeat, the message is clear. And poor of us, how pathetic and pitiful we are of having faith we don't have faith. Trust. Trust. God exists. God is the creator. He is the Lord of the universe. Trust. God has not abandoned you. God has not forsaken His people. God has not forsaken His church. He is suffering more than you from the pounding of the waves. He is suffering more than you that the boat filled with water. We have to say to him, as long as you are in the boat, I won't abound the boat, and I prefer to drown with you than to live without you, die with you than to live without you, because the true death is to live with you. Death with you is nothing but a bird towards heaven. I choose to trust you, to trust those who speak sometimes pretending, daring to say that they speak in your name, but who in reality are teaching the opposite of what you teach with you, Lord, even if the boat sinks. So be it.